back to where we're sitting here, and that would be Israel and the possibility of an Israeli um, uh, Greek, or actually an Israeli Greek deal. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu can try to shake off his Ban Ki moon blues during his trip to Cyprus today, but the Israeli Premier will be attending the first three way summit with his Greek and Cypriot counterparts to talk about one of his favorite topics, and that would be energy. Now, Israel seeks to form a regional alliance to cooperate and capitalize on its natural gas. Fines and friendships with Greece and Cyprus are seen as key. That friendship received a boost yesterday with a visit by Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras, accompanied by six of his cabinet ministers to Jerusalem. The Greeks took part in a government-to-government -government meeting and signed economic and public security agreements. The leaders took care to ally possible concerns of regional power Turkey over the warming of ties. Netanyahu stressed the developments with Greece and Cyprus were independent of efforts to normalize relations with Turkey. So there's a lot at play when it comes to all of this. But our diplomatic reporter, Tal Shalev, was with Prime Minister Netanyahu. She's with Prime Minister Netanyahu on the plane right now. Earlier today, she filed this report from Cyprus. Let's take a look. The Prime Minister is heading to Cyprus for a first ever three way summit with his Greek and Cypriot counterparts. And this uh, so called tripartite follows a series of high level meetings between officials from these uh, three countries in recent weeks and months. And the main topic on the agenda is energy. The recent gas discoveries in the Israeli and Cypriot economic waters have prompted the need for uh, enhanced economic cooperation and, of course, exploring the possibility of uh, exporting this gas to Europe. And of course, these newly discovered gas fields also need uh, protection. So there is also a very intense discussion going on regarding uh, uh, security and maritime uh, security between the three countries. Netanyahu will start his day uh, meeting with them for a meeting in a one on one with uh, the Cyprus uh, president Anastasidis. Then they will be joined by uh, the Greek uh, Prime Minister Tsipras, who was already hosted yesterday uh, in Jerusalem by Netanyahu. And uh, yesterday, Netanyahu used the opportunity to clarify that uh, the uh, cooperation with Greek and Cyprus has nothing to do with the reconciliation attempt that Israel is trying to uh, move forward with uh, uh, Turkey on. And uh, uh, for Netanyahu, this is a unique opportunity um, at a time of increasing international pressure on the uh, Palestinian topic to present an axis and new regional axis that actually does not put that at the top of the agenda. We will be following this summit throughout the day and updating you uh, at I-24 News. Let me tell Shalev I-24 News diplomatic correspondent on the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's plane as they're heading back to Israel. Well, luckily for me, I have advocate Gila Lieber Gulan, Gila Lieber Gulan with me in studio. Um, uh, and you're the chairperson also of the Israeli Greek Chamber of Commerce and former ambassador to, uh, and, sorry, and Israeli Greek Chamber of Commerce. Sir, when it comes to this deal, um, what does it mean? What does it mean for Greece? What does it mean for Israel? Um, without uh, being uh, too much dramatic. Be dramatic. It's a dramatic <laughs> morning. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we see, uh, uh, I would say, uh, a new era. Because really, when we look behind and we see Greece with her problem and Israel with her problem in the world, but we see that they are going together. Somehow they found a, if we match to each country, we become stronger. Right. And what we see that Greece, which is uh, Prime Minister Tsipras, it's her, his uh, third visit to Israel. And coming to Israel with Mr. Tsipras, who has come from a very leftist uh, 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 um, party. A party, a very leftist. Um, uh, yes, yeah. we see uh, it, it's a real, we have to see it even more serious than the previous government before, because he means business. He really means it. When it comes to Israel, he really means it, and you see uh, Israel as a serious ally for him. And to contribute to each other. That's why yesterday they signed a lot, a lot of agreement be between each parties. We have to say that Do we know the details of these agreements? No. That's the thing. What, no. what are the details of these agreements? What does it mean? It's, uh, nothing is disclosed. We really don't know anything, anything. We can say uh, one more thing, that uh, uh, Minister Yalon was, uh, the day before the visit, he uh, paid a visit in, in Athens with his 
uh, counterpart right. uh, about all kinds of serious uh, securities. Serious, but you know, and time will tell where it um, uh, where it, uh, leads. it's it shows really something that this uh, visit was really pre-prepared. Prepared, and sadly, all the time we have on this issue. I want to thank you, Gila, for being with us. Stay with us. Now the news.